Okay, again, here we go with my issue, my favorite issue, uh, Crystal Met, Met Heads. Uh, just here in the media, St. Stephen, they had a big meeting last night. Council, DMLA, uh, the citizen that live in the neighborhood, what they call it? Happy, Happy Valley Street or something like that. Another word, Happy Street. The city used the word finalize that they were going to put those trailers or whatever down that street for the med heads. But like the media likes to call it, the homeless people. Um, and uh, they were very quiet. Media couldn't get nothing from uh, nobody. Everybody was quiet. It was going to start next week, but now it's done. It's the old not in my backyard. And in this case, hey, I don't blame them. <laughs> you can't have a bunch of trailers uh, for met heads in the neighborhood. I'm sorry, you can't have that. If they were saying, well, I really, we really appreciate what you're doing for us, no problem. There'll be no I mean, I'll be the first one to lead the charge. Myself, I always been an activist for the less fortunate. My God, it's because of me that seniors uh, don't want to take credit, but uh, were allowed when they force you to take your pension when you're 60 years old, you could keep two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars more a month. But you know, you uh, that's just one issue. But you fight for the less fortunate, and then once you accomplish what you want, then the other activists for the met heads demand to have equal billing to the true less fortunate and you can't have that you you can't have housing for met heads i'm sorry you can't rule of a med head number one you do not follow rules and number two you do damage you cause damage and the other one of course is stealing and that poor neighborhood in saint stephen if they would accept what they wanted uh, all the house would have been broken into. No question about it. So they had the big, big Virgil and the funeral. The mayor of St. Stephen was almost crying about that poor guy that died. Took a drug overdose. Nobody's talking about it. Milton, what happened? There's a guy, I'm surprised the media covered this. There's a guy that died from a drug overdose, they said, at Ensemble. Ensemble, you know, where they're doing the drugs behind the building that they give you the stuff to do, to do, uh, to do drugs. Um, they, um, they had on the media, the family didn't want to disclose his name, but he was such a lo uh, lovable person. He died from a drug overdose, but he had such a good heart and he was such a beautiful person. A blah, 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 blah. Now, how come they don't do stories of uh, people that dies of, uh, of alcohol overdose? Or people that plays VLTs and they blow their, their, their head off after they lost all their money. How come they don't do stories on that? So, the issue, again, we're going of what to do is January and like I said it's uh, here in Fredericton like me and DOG we went to Nova Scotia for a couple of days DOG never barked once everything was fine we came here came around the corner DO, poor DOG sleeping now all he did all day was bark 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 because he smells med heads and med heads are all all over the damn place but it's surprising that in St. Stephen, everybody's quiet. Nobody wants to say nothing, but the citizens have, have one. That's no place to put a station. So, <coughs> until, <coughs> until the activists for the Medheads agree that these people cannot be treated like the rest of the citizen, that they need to really, like somebody called CBC, the other day and said what to do any proposal for the med heads you know what she said she mentioned a call a call mentioned the word institution of course you gotta wash out that world because I'll be the first one to be put in there but 
what else do you do? You don't have this problem in France, uh, Spain, or England. Somebody told me, he said, you don't see that. Because they take care, they, they take care of them. Here, United States and here, oh no, they got human rights. They have the right to be on the street, uh, tents in the cities, and look what's going on in Halifax. What a bunch of horseshit. Uh, they're going to be, if they kept, keep staying there, can you imagine a big, big drug rug, uh, drug base right in the center of the city? All tents, it'll be too late. And everybody's going to be a pile. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be all piled up, all all met heads and everything. I hate to be so pessimistic, but look at the, what that Joan Kingston, <laughs> Joan. Can you imagine a, appointed a senator? <laughs> the worst, the worst piece of. Oh, never mind. Focus, Charles. She had all the tents beside the medical clinic. It was the worst drug spree around. They had about. Hundreds, hundreds of needles right beside the medical clinic downtown. So it's bad. And you know what? It's going to get worse if we don't take this issue seriously and stop treating these people like human beings. They're not human beings. They need help. But what kind? Put them in jail? Yes. This one I always said. Uh, I, I asked my priest, how come? How come? Uh, going too much here. How come prisoners always see God? Ask my priest. How come they always see God behind bars? I, I asked the priest, have you seen God, you? 60 years of priesthood? No, i never seen God. i never seen God either. How come he's behind bars? He says, because they have lots of time on their hands. Well, you know, that's what you do. You put them behind bars, six months, three meals a day, fresh air, put throw a Bible inside and uh, see what happens. Do you have any better idea? I don't.